Legos, the magical bricks and figures that can make anything you can imagine a reality as long as you have enough pieces and the instructions. It's less forgiving IKEA furniture for kids and 40 year old virgins. Overhyped, overpriced, and an absolute liability that hides in the carpet waiting for you to place your 200 pound frame straight down on its sharp edges in your bare feet. Hey kids, you can build the scenes from all of your favorite properties across TV, movies, and video games. But all of the cool licensed stuff is going to cost you a yellow arm and a leg. Don't forget, they've got Duplos for the toddlers. Gotta get them started young on starting projects and leaving them in the corner to collect cobwebs with the rest of your dead hopes and dreams. You could grab those other Brandon blocks, but nobody gives a shit about that dentist waiting room fodder. Might as well play with some lame ass Lincoln logs, remember those? Here's some wooden stick bricks, kids. Build a log cabin to resemble the house you won't be able to afford in the nose diving inflation economy. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, Legos. Don't even show your kids those movies or video games. It's just going to make them want those floor hazards. Instead, steer them toward something more productive like going outside and staring directly into the sun. That should stop the yellow menace from entering your kid's peripheral. Remember I mentioned Ikea? Ikea is from Sweden. Lego is from Denmark. They're both considered Scandinavian countries. So we can only assume that this is a terrible place full of terrible people that you should never visit. Build my hotel room? How about stay home and take a nap? Am I right? Lego was essentially made by weird, arctic, dip-taking, chocolate-eating, boots and pants based thumping bodybuilders with blonde hair and bad haircuts. Save your time, save your money, save your soft and supple feet. It's time we all Lego of Legos. <laughs>